Hi guys, I'm Vita. With my daughters Lilu, Lani and Lily, our guests Jack and Jones and little Maui, I'm ready to move on after years of grief for my husband. Sending our apartment and a search for a sailboat to explore life and with happiness in. In the previous episode, I was on my way to Zwolle with my eldest daughter Lilu, where she had the key exchange of her room. The second part of Operation Move was on. Her cousin Dario and best friend Kimberly, who came from different parts of the Netherlands by train, would help with the move. My eldest and the first to move out because of her study at the Art Academy, Artes. Mega proud of her. Hier oh, kamer. Oh, het ziet er wel mega lekker uit, hè? Oh! Op mijn tafel! For the move of the cats Jack and Jones and with the prospect of going out a lot with Maui, I had bought them travel bags and a backpack. Of course I tried it out and it was really funny how relaxed they found it. As if they sensed that a big change was coming. Oh mijn god, wat is het moeilijk filmen zo. Oh, zo. Zo beter. En dan het was time for the next move. To the bungalow.
nooit geweest met mijn man. Uh, toen ik wat camping was, ik nee, toen het helemaal gebouwd uh, werd hier. Dat is echt lang geweest. Dus je hebt ooit heel vroeg volgens mij campinggrond geweest. En daarna zijn ze een deel gaan bouwen als uh, zijn uh, vaste bewoning uh, recreatie. En toen dat failliet ging, toen uh, zijn wij ingesprongen en wij zijn een beetje daar omheen gaan bouwen. Dus uh, oh. zo, wij hebben nog een heleboel nog uitkwartje gebouwd. Oh. Kan ik u helpen? Ja, familie Ertelens. Ik kan hem inchecken. Ja. We received such a warm welcome and Maui was immediately spoiled. This is where we are going to stay for the next two months. A place from where I can take care of the boat and maintain it, after which it can be sailed to our berth. I think the kids, cats and Maui felt okay here. Just finished installing in the bungalow and look what my kids are doing. <laughs> they are already ready for the sauna. Bye. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> and the little one is watching. No, she's gaming. Okay. Fortnite. Fortnite. Well, the next day I had to continue moving our stuff. In a few days the key transfer would take place and the house had to be empty. I lost count how many stairs I had to climb. ready. This morning uh, I, um, I had to pack still a lot of things uh, in the bedrooms and of the girls as well and in my room but now it's really getting empty and there's one major object <laughs> that I must not forget. You would almost forget it. Well. It's not that I forget it, but 
it's like well it's the I don't know how you call it in English but it's the urn of my husband Kuhn and it's not that I forget it because he is with me but and the urn was in a little cabinet in my uh, bedroom and um, and everything is empty now instead of the urn is still there and um, yeah it's coming with me so I'm going to get it and then I take a break for today and then um, tomorrow Wesley will help me uh, with uh, uh, some, a few boxes because I found it it's too heavy uh, to do it all by myself I need some help so I'm really grateful and then um, yeah almost done so I think this was one of the hardest part because the house also gave us so much such a good life and peace now it's get, it's so empty and it feels strange I have mixed feelings and emotions with it so yeah okay let's get him it's all empty things that I leave oh yeah that thing there it's full of my uniform of Transavia uh, I will have to I can finally bring it back to them and um, this room and this artwork is going to hang uh, downstairs with the boyfriend of Lani so that when Lani is with him she has something of her grandfather and this was my room and then there you have the little cabinet and let me see if I can take it you have my so I need two hands so I will shut the video down now so cozy together now in my arms but so much in my heart um, he's coming with me to the bungalow he's going to stay in the bungalow as well no, that would be fun okay Yes, Maui, we are going. But first, I had to put some boxes in the storage. I found the moving in the last week very hard, but before I knew it, I was sitting with Lani. Hans the real estate agent and the buyers at the notary and placed my signature and handed over the keys. I could now close this chapter and focus on the recovery and the future. Today's the day! I'm almost at Hay. Um, this is the second. Oh my gosh, I forgot the word. Uh, I'm still so sleepy. Uh, how does it call it in English? It's the second checkup.
There she is, our boat, ready for inspection that would take a day. But what I did not expect today is that I could take over the steering wheel. I felt her and this was an incredible feeling. Proud and speechless, I enjoyed that moment. But more about this in the next vlog, where I also get lessons from Wesley to fly our new drone. I can't show you more right now because we are completely up to date. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog, but this week something very important is going to happen. So, see you next time. Bye!